Greetings, welcome back to Dr. D907. Hey, I got a quick tip for owners of certain printers experiencing a condition where the printer does not print in black or it fails to print in color. I got a procedure that may help you rectify that problem. I'm dealing with the HP printer. Uh, it's a common issue with the HP PhotoSmart 6525 printer and other HP printers that fail to print in black because the printer head becomes clogged with ink. Um, this particular printer is less than two years old and I began experiencing the problem after changing the ink cartridge. Uh, so basically, if you do have any warranty coverage on the printer left, I suggest contacting the manufacturer. Uh, if you bought it at Costco or Sam's, there may be a, a warranty there. And uh, if you do have uh, proof, of, uh, uh, proof of purchase, then I suggest you contact the original seller and uh, uh, see if you can rectify the issue. Also, there's uh, some troubleshooting. Uh, that you can go through that's recommended by HP. My procedure is more of a last ditch effort uh, to get the print heads unclogged and really it applies to many inkjet printers where uh, especially in this case the print head is very difficult to remove so we have a process of cleaning that while it's still in the printer and uh, there's a high success rate for this particular issue if we run through this process. However, in some cases uh, it may be beyond help and uh, may require a replacement of the printer. But it's worth a try, especially if you've got invested in some ink and you want to get a little more life out of your printer. Basically it involves a mixture of water and isopropyl alcohol, a 50-50 mix of hot tap water. And uh, in order to prepare the printer, if the printer is plugged in, go ahead and open the top cover and expose the ink cartridges. And once the ink cartridge uh, comes to the position where it can be serviced, go ahead and unplug the power and then you want to remove the ink cartridges. And once you've mixed your solution of hot tap water and isopropyl alcohol, Go ahead and take one sheet of uh, paper towel and uh, fold it lengthwise here. It has to be thin enough so it fits below the print head along the uh, base of the printer where the paper feed is. And then position the print head over that so that it comes in contact with that. So once that's been immersed in the liquid, go ahead and, and fold it up and put it underneath there. And, uh, and then go ahead and take another folded piece of paper towel and again immerse it in the liquid and press down into the ink distribution area of the print head well and, uh, and just kind of massage it around a little bit and uh, try to get as much of that cleaner down in there and clean up any uh, old ink that is accumulated there. And uh, once you've done that, go ahead and remove your paper towels. And you might just take this opportunity to use a dry paper towel and clean up any moisture. You know, a little disclaimer, uh, these types of cleaning products could be flammable. Uh, of course, water and electricity never mix. Uh, so you want to do this in a safe, well-ventilated area and prevent an excessive amount of moisture or cleaning solution to enter the printer and clean things up the best you can. Go ahead and reinstall your ink cartridges and close the cover and then plug in the printer and you'll want to cycle it through a print alignment and then do a print head cleaning and uh, you should be good to go at that point. Hopefully it was successful and that's enough to get you back on the road and milk a few more miles out of this printer. It, like I said, if not, then it, it may require uh, more in-depth service or probably replacement due to a failed print head. So, and that might not be worth the cost. Well, anyway, hey, thanks again for stopping by. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate the likes and subscriptions, and I wish you good luck with your printer.
Take care.